Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel SQR Daily and today I'm gonna teach you on how to do a limited relic and automated wild force in 3 kingdoms Rage of Chaos for Android emulator. So first we need to have a PC that has an Android emulator and make sure it has a macro recorder just like this. So in my case I'm using the Nox player which has a macro feature. So click that one and as you can see I already have a Relic in Wild Force uh, record, uh, recorded, macro recorded. So first you need to go to your treasury and look for the nearest uh, re relic location on your city location. So go, go to outside, check your city coordinate. So, so in my case, I have 98 and 20. And... In treasury, Mount Heng was the closest relic location on my city. So it is a 97 over 101. So if you complete the 30 star in a certain location, you will get this one advanced record scroll and 200 ingot. We will also gain bonus stat attributes such as attack defense hp attack defense and hp again i will uh, explain how to do this macro so first you need to go for your treasury look for the lo nearest location click this one acquire and go to Mount Heng. So when you are on the relic location, you need to have this macro record recorder. Press record. So it is. Uh, it was already recording. So click this one. Explore. Go. So the march time was thirty one seconds. Fight. And since I do have only two March troops yet, since I'm on level 18, castle 18, so fight. So you need to stop the recording since you already finished that one. And we should rename this relic three. Since the exploring time was two minutes so we're gonna explain later so go to the settings of your recorded macro and look until stop button is pressed so since the exploring time is two minutes plus the marching time 31 seconds so you need to add that one so 31 plus 31 plus the exploring time 2 minutes which is 120 seconds plus another 31 seconds uh, going back to your location so for a total of 182, 182 seconds so we need to add a allowance in case something goes wrong so plus 10 192 seconds and then save so if i uh, after the 192 seconds it will uh, redo the process of the macro so we're gonna wait for the exploring and to end then i'm gonna use the the return charge or something so this uh, process would be the same with uh, would uh, would be the same with the automated wild force, but the difference was in wild force uh, enemies spawn at random places, so the exploring uh, the marching time would be different, and it is not fixed unlike this one. 
since uh, for in my case for Mount Heng I only have 31 uh, second March time so for the wild force it will uh, randomly change so we're gonna wait for this one to end So we're gonna review what are the settings so loop until stop button is pressed since uh doing relic doesn't cost a march troop this is what i meant I said the uh, cost for this the for the relic so going back treasury acquire mount hang and then do the process so it will do automatically what i recorded earlier So as you can see, the time was 31 seconds going to the, the relic location, which is the Mount Heng. And the process for the exploring is 2 minutes. And since we already set that interval into a 192 seconds, after that 192 seconds, your troop was already on your city and ready to uh, do relic again so we're just gonna wait this one so in macro you can have a lot of op option so for example loop until uh, the time you set <clears throat> you want to set so for example like this so if you want one hour you can do that you can also set your loop times to a limited uh, times only this is uh, useful for the automated wild force later I will show to you on how to use this uh, loop times. It was, we're just gonna wait this one to end plus the 31 seconds. Just to show you that this uh, process of recording the macro and replaying it Unlimited is possible by using a macro. So we will wait another 30 seconds plus 10 seconds that I allotted an extra time in case something goes wrong. So 10 seconds and it will automatically do it again. We will see executed one times. So as you can see, it already execute, uh, execute again. 
So I'm gonna stop it here. So we are finished with the unlimited relic. And the next one would be the uh, automated wild force. So we're gonna create again a macro. So record. Then we are recording right now. Click that magnifying glass. And then search, click that one, go, and sweep. And then the marching time was 46 seconds. Oops, wait. I'm gonna withdraw this one. Let's restart the process. So record, modifying class, wild force. Click that one, go, sweep, and the marching time was 42 seconds. So, modifying glass, wild force, sweep, and marching time was 29 seconds. So, when you do a marching, uh, when you do a wild force, the marching time will change randomly. So in order to be a uh, fail proof macro, we need to set this right up. You need to set the print to a 300 seconds or 5 minutes and then change the loop times depending on your current March troop charge and since I only have 24 left so I need to change this one to 24 and then I will I will change the name wild force 3 And the troop was already at my city location. So we're gonna play this automated macro. As you can see, the march time was uh, changing randomly, so you need to really set that in a 300 seconds or 5 minutes just to be uh, safe from error. Because sometimes uh, marching time would uh, go beyond 1 minute or 2 minutes. So since I since I set that uh, marching uh, macro time for 300 seconds, it will we do the process for every 300 seconds, regardless of the uh, marching time plus the top time. So that's it for the macro tutorial for unlimited relic and automated wild force in Three Kingdoms Rage of Chaos. So subscribe for more Three Kingdoms uh, Raja Chaos videos. Thanks for watching.